Hey YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the interweb for all things geeky and cool. In this video guys, we have another subscription unboxing video. We're going to be cracking into the Geek Fuel September 2017 themed box build up figure. Now I looked across all their internet information and tried to find anything else that would say a theme besides build up figure. I'm guessing if you're building a figure, it's something Lego. I'm guessing, I don't know. Uh, now if you're interested in this particular type of Geek Fuel box or the subscription box itself, they have a price point of $19.95. US. Now I will put my referral code in the description of this particular video. So if you want to save a couple bucks, always helps the channel out. You're more than welcome to. So we're going to get into the box now. I have my knife and my scissors. So let's actually crack into this thing and see what we get. It's a little bit heavier than your standard subscription box. I do notice that. It's not as tall as the XL box I did last month. Now when you open it, you have their literature. Uh, looks like it's something to do with Blade Runner. So it looks really, really cool. So we'll put that aside. The very first thing you get in a particular subscription box is some type of wearable. It's usually a t-shirt most of the time. Uh, this one looks really, really cool. I like it. It's an old school version of Batman with some lettering on the side. I'll definitely put it in my subscription, in my uh, light box so you can take a look at it and see what you guys think. They have the destructible shell, the indestructible shell from the Mario game. I like how it looks. It says super soft shell on it here. It looks really, really cool. Nice design. Really cool look. Uh, kind of a big pop to it. It has bright colors, nice purplish color. I do like the way it looks. Their pins are the biggest claim to fame in my opinion here. Uh, they always do something really, really cool with their pins. Uh, the XL box, I have their pin I had was last month's box, which was this one right here, which was the Flash. They do something really, really cool here. They do stuff based off of Cartoon Network characters. Uh, I got, looks like Meathead, I think his name is, I'm not entirely sure. But when you pick it and spin it around here, it's Epic Enamels is, is the theme to it. They have the Geek Fuel logo at the bottom here. And you get all sorts of different pins. You can get Johnny Bravo, you can get Dexter, you can get Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. You can get the Meathead here. I think it's Meathead, I think his name is. Or you could have gotten Space Ghost. I really want that Space Ghost. I'm a big Space Ghost fan. So guys, if you got your own Geek Fuel box and you want to trade the Space Ghost pin, please uh, hit me up in the, in the comment section. I would love to get the Space Ghost pin. I think it looks really, really cool. Again, big fan of Space Ghost, so I like the way that looks. So put that down. Next thing they always have inside the Geek Fuel boxes are game cards, which are linked to Steam. This one's based off of a, car, a game called The Warden. I don't know anything about this particular game. It has a price value here of $20. So if you think about it, this box itself has paid for itself off this game card according to its value. So it looks pretty good. The write-up says here, the warden, Melody of the Undergrowth, trapped in an ancient forest, a young prince searches for a lost god. Here he befriends the spirit of a young girl and a volatile child, and they quickly find their destinies intertwined. So it looks pretty cool here. Maybe some type of giveaway I might do down the line. Now their big thing they had was the buildable figure, and they didn't, they didn't say they weren't. It, I have a 195-piece Terminator Genesis from the Kubros. Uh, line here. Some type of Lego based guy that you build up. I'm not going to crack this open. I'm going to leave it sealed. It's actually Mega Bloks who makes this particular uh, Lego based or buildable figure. I'm going to do some type of giveaway for this thing down the road. I know that for a fact. I want to keep it completely sealed. Uh, next thing they have about is their literature. But before we talk about their literature, let's talk about their Geek Fuel magazine. This was number issue 32, uh, if you were interested. The contents, they talk about the pin. I'll kind of spin it around so you can see it here. It looks really, really nice, all the pins. I do like the meathead guy here, but I'd rather have gotten the Space Ghost one. I'm a big fan of Space Ghost. I wish I could have gotten the Space Ghost one. And they talk about the sequel, never before, which is Star Fox 2 for the new N uh, N the SNES new release. I think they called it their classic edition. That's silly expensive now. I actually have the normal Nintendo one. Uh, they had Blade Runner Returns, which of course was based off the front of the literature on 10.6. They had stuff for Stephen King and the It movie, of course, which I saw, which is pretty cool. You have Gamer's Corner, which I always talk about. You have The Warden, which was this particular game here. And I talked about the Ultimate Ge uh, Geek Gift Guide. You have the Millennium Falcon Asteroid Coffee Table, 6,500 bucks. Oh, wow, it looks good, but not $6,500 good. You have uh, you have S uh, Asperi S Star Wars Rebel Pilot Sneakers. Maybe it's a new type of sneaker brand. I never heard of it. You have an Iron Man mini fridge, which looks really, really cool. You have Destiny 2 uh, Lightness Falls Candle Set. That's kind of cool. They have a little candle set of the Destiny 2 game down here at the bottom. Uh, then they have Pac-Man LED desk uh, clock. You have an Operation Fallout Special Edition. And you have the Duck Hunt 3D Shadow Box for all three of those there. 
On the back, you have this is for under 50 bucks for everything here. The DC Rebirth Harley Quinn. You have a Lord of the Rings No Admittance doormat, which is kind of cool. And a Terminator 2 T800 hand goblet, if you're interested in seeing any of that stuff. Then they have more stuff. This is for under 25 now. Princess Mononoke Kadama Plush, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Bow and Arrow, and a Rick and Morty Anatomy Park game, if you wanted to see all those. And on this page, on the other flip side, you have the Book of Barb, which was, of course, Stranger Things, Planter Express, Starry Night, Art Print, and the Mattel Classic Retro Sports Games. Again, these are just suggestions if you wanted to buy stuff, so kind of cool. And you have someone who passed away, which was Toby Hopper. I'm guessing some type of uh, director. Tex uh, maybe did Texas Chainsaw Massacre is what this guy did here. I'm not, again, a horror guy, so I really wouldn't know this particular thing here. And, of course, the back you had the little paper uh, unicorn from uh, Blade Runner. So let's actually look at the literature, what they talked about here. They talked about the Bat Manga Batman shirt, which is a shirt we have here, which is this one. All the items you had, everyone got the soft... Uh, shell, super soft shell, vinyl sticker included. Oh, cool, this is a sticker. You pull the sticker off here on the tag. That's kind of cool. Didn't even notice that. You have the Warden Steam game. You have the Kuberos figure here. You could have gotten, it looks like, on the back, you could get Futurama, Family Guy, Destiny, Power Rangers, Despicable Me, Hellboy, Assassin's Creed, Halo, Star Trek, Master of the Universe, Terminator, Genesis, or Aliens. Uh, but the only ones they have listed here is about half that list which is that guy's here. So I think it's pretty cool. And of course we had the custom made pins for the Epic Enamels Cartoon Edition, which I still want that damn Space Ghost. I think it's really, really cool. So that being said, those are all the items in this particular box. Let's talk about value. Was this box worth $20? Uh, yeah, easily. It's easily worth $20. I mean, especially the game alone, that is 20 bucks. I put the plush maybe at 10, maybe 12 bucks. The pin here at least, I mean, the way they designed this pin is really well made, at least five to seven. This Terminator Kubros thing, I think these sell for about, I want to say, 10 to 15 dollars. And of course the shirt, which is at least 10 to 12 bucks as well. So it's at least $50 worth of value in my honest opinion. A pretty good box. Not the greatest box I've seen for subscription boxes, but it's a really good box. You definitely get your value. I hope you like this video, this unboxing video. Click that like button. Always click subscribe at the bottom of the page. Of course, you can come over here to my PO box if you want to send anything for Q&A to me or anything you want me to actually open on camera. I would love to do some more Q&A and actually do some more fan mail stuff. I love that. And you can come over here to click Windows to watch more of my videos. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video, and bye-bye.